Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to be discussing the nightclub. I'm going to be giving you guys a nightclub business money guide and tutorial. Everything you need to know, I'm going to break it down, talk about the new features that have been added with the most recent Criminal Enterprises update, and talk about how you can maximize your guys' payout with the nightclub because this is one of the most important businesses and it's one of the most solo friendly businesses in the game all right let's go ahead and get started so to purchase a nightclub you want to go to May's bank foreclosures and the website once you go in here it's real simple you just want to go to the top tab on the right corner and hit nightclubs to separate that and you've got several different nightclub locations you can choose between and the cheapest one you can get is just barely over a million dollars. It's not the best location. I would say somewhere in the center of the city or towards the north will be the ones you want to go with. But you can start out with a cheaper one. And this week, for example, they're on discount. But as you see, the regular prices are not that steep. Now, you can renovate your nightclub. None of this is needed. The only thing that you want to add to the nightclub is your storage. You can add multiple garages for your cars, 10 car garages, but you want to add extra floors to your nightclub to store extra cargo. The nightclub is more effective when you have other businesses to contribute to that stock and inventory, but it's not needed. And we'll talk about that later, okay? Before we go any further though, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to my channel with notifications turned all the way on so you guys don't miss out on new future money guides tutorials or live streams if you would like you can hit the join button down below find out how to become a member you can also check out some merchandise that i have and if you want to go above and beyond if this video helps you out or any other video you can drop a super thanks donation in the comments and that is greatly appreciated okay so once you purchase your nightclub you can check out the interior it's really cool it's got a, it's a lot of fun it is it, it's definitely a vibe you have a closet to change clothes. You can entertain some guests with uh, some drinks at the bar right there. You have a computer. You have a gun locker. And you have a wall safe for your rent money, which we'll talk about that later. There's also a spot on the wall where you can dim the lights and you can darken the window tint on your windows in your office. And when the nightclub came out, people loved this feature. It was just one of those cool little gadgets and features that you had. So you can do that as well. Now, across from your computer in this kind of blank wall right here, this is where your gun locker is going to be, and you can adjust your weapon wheel loadout. Now, when you access the computer in the nightclub, it's basically going to be the nerve center. Uh, you have your all your stats right here, your jobs completed, your earnings, all that good stuff, your total earnings. You have your nightclub management. The nightclub management is where you're going to launch the traditional popularity missions but you can easily just rebook the djs or you can do one of the new nightclub popularity missions that are inside the actual nightclub and we'll talk about that later okay so the warehouse management is where you will assign your technicians to each one of your goods and these goods represent your businesses cargo and shipments would be crates sporting goods is the gun running bunker and the rest of them are going to be your mc businesses and that's what i was saying earlier in the video your other businesses will contribute to your nightclub and help it passively gain income. Now, you also have upgrades. The equipment and the staff are definitely needed. You don't have to have the security upgrade up front, but it does double the amount of time it takes for your nightclub to get raided. So keep that in mind. All right. So let's talk about your new nightclub popularity missions. When you enter the nightclub, say, to pick up your wall safe, the rent money, you'll notice if you get a message from Marcel and there's a blue person icon, if there's a blue actual icon of a person, that is a nightclub popularity mission where it's a VIP. You have to pick them up and drive them to a new location. I usually skip this one, but you can do it. You get them into a limo. You can't go too fast or it spooks the VIP and it fails the mission. So keep that in mind as part of the AGL or artificial game lengthening mechanic that Rockstar has. And uh, it's kind of annoying, but you can do this. It does increase your nightclub popularity and you do get a little bit of money from. However, the ones that I prefer to do the most and that are much easier is when you enter the nightclub, say to pick up your wall safe or to adjust your technicians. If you have a blue dot, that is just a person that you have to throw out of the nightclub. You have to kick them out. You got to bounce them out. They're arguing the bill. They're throwing up in the bathroom, whatever. You just go to them. You hit the right arrow key and you toss them out with Marcel and that will increase your nightclub popularity. However, if you can't be bothered by either one of those, you can just rebook your DJs and it will increase your nightclub popularity as well. It costs you $10,000 each time you do that 
And you want to make sure you use a computer terminal that's in the basement, not your main office. Because if it's in the main office, it will make you go through the interaction of checking out the new DJ, all right? And this is directly related to your wall safe. And you can make up to $250,000 every five hours for doing absolutely nothing. It's pure passive income. And it has nothing to do with the actual inventory of the nightclub where the other businesses are needed to make that gain money. You just sit there and make sure your nightclub popularity is up and it just accrues money for you. 50 grand every 48 minutes, all right? Now, in your nightclub, you will also be able to store your delivery vehicles. Now, you get the van for free when you purchase a nightclub, but you do want to purchase the Pounder Custom. That's the largest vehicle on the left. Do not buy the Mule, which is the one in the middle. Do not buy that vehicle. You don't need it. The Pounder Custom is 241000 but remember, you can just use the van starting out. You just have to make multiple deliveries for a larger sale, okay? Now, the nightclub also stores your terabyte, and the terabyte is where you can store and the only place you can upgrade your Mark II oppressor, which is a, a still a very important vehicle in the game. I have separate videos on the terabyte. You can check that out at your convenience, okay? Johan is a new addition to the nightclub business with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Johan is very important. He allows you to basically do business battles in GTA 5 Online at your own will. You can call Johan up and request your own nightclub goods. And you can do this 100% solo, like everything with this nightclub business, all by yourself. And it's basically like your own personal business battle. You basically collect one crate or one unit of goods for the nightclub. And you can do this every 20 minutes. There's a 20 minute cooldown, but you get paid for it and it increases the inventory of your nightclub warehouse, which is really cool. The Johan missions to collect the goods are pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward. One of them is you have to go to the dock and go to a tugboat take out some bad guys over here, you collect the unit of cargo, and simply just go back to your nightclub and deliver it. It's very simple, very easy. Now, these guys can be a pain. You do have to pay attention because they just keep on coming at you. So you have to take them out, get on the boat, deal with them while you're on the boat too, probably, and then book up out of there. And again, uh, Mark II is a great vehicle to use. You can land it right on the boat. And once you deliver it, you have another unit of cargo for the nightclub warehouse, and you get paid a little bit as well. There's also a mission where you have to track down a vehicle. Just hit it with one rocket or shoot it up enough with like the minigun or something or an RPG. And once the uh, passenger and driver get out, don't hit it with any more rockets. It can blow up. Just take out those guys, jump in the vehicle, and drive out. But you do get chased, so keep that in mind. You have to put up with those guys. But again, we should all be kind of accustomed to this by now. You can deliver it back to your nightclub, and you're good to go. Now, if you happen to be in a public lobby or a crew or friend lobby with people roaming about in free mode, you can also get a little spicy with the business battles. Business battles will allow you to collect between two and eight units of cargo, and you get paid for it as well, up to 50 grand. And these are a combination of player versus enemy and player versus player, but sometimes you get into a lobby, people can communicate, and the players actually don't kill each other. You just split the business battles if it's the multiple ones like this one. I was fortunate enough to collect all eight and you can increase your nightclub warehouse with the cargo and make you some pretty good cash on top of that from the actual sale. So sourcing your cargo through Johan is kind of like a pure solo method and then your business battles are the original way to actively source the cargo for the nightclub. So the nightclub accrues cargo passively from your other businesses and through business battles or Johan missions, you can actively source your cargo as well, all right? And then when everything is filled up in the nightclub warehouse, you can make a sale 100% solo. I made this sale all by myself in a public lobby, maxed out with 30 people to get the bonus, and the bonus is at 50% capped at 20 players. So I made 2747250 That's the max you can make on a regular nightclub sale when it's fully maxed out. And it is some good money. Now, it is a little dangerous in a public lobby. I don't recommend it all the time, but you can have some fun to mix it up. And you will get that 50% bonus on top of the original amount. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But you have to have at least 20 people beside yourself in a public lobby to get that maxed out bonus of 50%. And then, yeah, this is what it looks like when it's all filled up. All your cargo... 360 total units at $1,931,500. Don't forget to rearrange your nightclub warehouse technicians in the warehouse management tab of the mainframe in the computer. That way it will help prevent the nightclub from stalling out. It's a bug that happens every now and again. But this is it, guys. This is your nightclub money guide and business tutorial. Everything you need to know to maximize your payouts 
with the revamps and new additions from the Criminal Enterprises DLC. I hope this video helps out. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Illus Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah.